Hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC Easy Math channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the proper CFM for a two-ton unit and for a sensible heat ratio of 0.82. And what we have is the model number and we have the total cooling capacity. So let's start, let's start with the equation. So the sensible heat equation indicates that Q equals 1.08 times CFM times delta T. So if we want to obtain the CFM, we're going to solve for CFM. So CFM is equals to Q divided by 1.08 times delta T. In other words, if we want to obtain the CFM, we need the sensible heat and we need the delta T. Let's start with the delta T. Delta T equals to temperature on the return side minus temperature on the supply side. Delta T equals to the temperature on the return side, which we have. The temperature on the return side is 78. And the temperature on the supply side is 55. Delta T is going equals to 23. And also, I want to mention on this part that Delta T is mainly a temperature difference, so we don't have to worry so much about the sign because usually if we want to learn the formula, at times we, we worry so much about the sign. Like is it, for example, if it's temperature on the supply side minus the return side or the supply side minus the return side so the the value itself is going to be the same the only difference is going to be the sign for example if i if i'm trying to do de to do delta t and this is temperature on the supply side minus temperature on the return side for example if i didn't remember the formula say delta t was on the supply side minus return or main or return minus supply it doesn't matter because the difference is going to give me the same value but the sign is the only difference so as long as that we're good with that there's there's gonna be no problems with us so 55 minus 78 so delta t equals negative 23 fahrenheit so as you can see in here 23 and 23 is the same the only difference is the sign so Regardless if you are saying supply minus return or return minus supply, it's okay, no problem. So now that we now that we have the delta T, we're going to obtain the sensible uh, sensible heat. So let's go with sensible heat now. Sensible heat. So in order to obtain the sensible heat, we need to understand what is sensible heat and what is latent heat because what we have right now is the total cooling capacity okay let's put let's put everything together so the total heat is composed by two types the total heat is composed by sensible and latent and when we're saying heat sometimes we get confused because we're talking about cooling we're not talking about heating so heat is the particles in motion so heat applies for heating and cooling so cooling is the absence of heat so that's why we're saying the total heat is composed by sensible and latent but how much of that total heat is sensible and how much is latent the sensible heat ratio 
is 0 0.82, which means that 82% is going to be sensible and the rest is going to be latent, which is going to be 18%. So this is basically the sensible heat ratio. Let's put in here the sensible heat ratio. Okay, so what is the total heat or total cooling capacity? The total cooling capacity according to this manufacturer is 24,000 BTUs per hour. The total heat or cooling capacity is 24,000 BTUs per hour. From that, and in order to obtain the total CFM, we need the sensible heat. For the sensible heat, we need 82% of that total cooling capacity or total heat. So what we're gonna do is we're going to obtain the 82% of that 24,000 BTUs. So when, when we're doing percentage, we say 82%, which means 0 0.82. 0 0.82 equals to 19. Let's be consistent with the colors. 19,680 BTUs per hour. BTUs per hour. So that's my sensible heat. So now that we have the sensible heat, we plug in in this formula, star formula, see? Therefore, the CFM equals sensible heat, which is 19, 6, 8, divided by 1.08 times delta T. And delta T is 23 degrees. So CFM equals to, uh, let's do the math, 792. And that's the result. So for proper cooling, we need 792 CFM for this two-ton unit. And let me uh, also highlight that this is an analytical method, which means uh, we use the formula, we apply what we have, what is given, and we do the computations and we obtain the, we obtain the result. However, when you, are on, when you are on the field, or if you want to obtain this value or have a very quick idea on what is the proper CFM for a two-ton unit, we usually do, uh, we use the rule of thumb. So the rule of thumb indicates, let's put in here, rule of thumb, rule of thumb, indicates that for proper cooling CFM, we require 400 CFM per ton. That's the rule of thumb. So that gives you a general idea on what the CFM would be for proper cooling purposes. So since this unit is a two-ton unit, so for a two-ton unit, two-ton unit, we need one ton, 400 CFM equals 800 CFM. So now we have two methods, the analytical, analytical, the analytical and the rule of thumb. And now, uh, now that we completed this problem or this exercise, I, I want to emphasize a little bit on this uh, 0.82 sensible heat ratio because that's a very important factor. So we usually call it SHR and SHR is called sensible heat ratio, sensible heat ratio. And the sensible heat ratio is usually expressed as a decimal. So if you want to do the operations, you 
have to use the decimal way. The decimal. So you have to use it as a decimal. And to represent it, you can put it as a percentage. Percentage. So in other words, the percentage is as a representation of the sensible heat ratio. But if you want to do operations with the sensible heat ratio, you need to use the decimal. So in, in order to use the decimal, you need to divide this number by 100. So 82 divided by 100 is 0 0.82. That's the decimal. And with that decimal, we're able to obtain the sensible heat ratio since we have the total cooling capacity. Total cooling capacity. And the total cooling capacity is the same as heating because heating and cooling is so the heat is a way of energy in motion so when we're talking about cooling or heating we need to understand that cooling when we're talking about cooling we're extracting heat that's what that's what the proper uh, way would be all right, so thank you very much for watching this video and if you don't forget to like the video if you, you liked it and I'll, I'll see you later and I'm going to be making more videos. Bye-bye.